Hi, hello and Namaskar. Welcome to another video of Fine Dining Indian where you can learn some amazing uh, Indian dishes into a different level inspired by my travel. So today we're going to try out uh, chicken and chickpea curry. Evolution of this dish is like what is left over from after making something. So I put the chicken and chickpea together, mix it together in a pressure cooker and uh, the base of the pressure cooker because it's thick bottom and cooked it slowly. So what's this recipe? So we're making a quick chicken curry. So put the chicken, bones, everything together. It's curry cut with the bone. All right, chicken. Now we're putting onions. It's not hot. I even didn't light the fire. So it's, it's completely raw and cold. Green chili, tomatoes, ginger garlic paste. Let's say two tablespoon. Turmeric powder, one teaspoon. Coriander powder, two and a half full teaspoon. Chili powder. Maggi seasoning powder, half a teaspoon. This is Maggi chicken stock cube. So we add a chicken stock cube. And now garam masala, one teaspoon. Now ghee, pure desi ghee, say two tablespoon. Salt, you need one teaspoon at least. Now what we're going to do is just to mix it everything. Mix the chicken like you're doing a proper massage. Mix the oil. All right. So after resting, now we can start with the cooking. Start with a slow fire so it doesn't catch quickly. And uh, once it start heating up, you need to mix it. And then we add a bit of water because we added chicken stock cube so it should be fine otherwise you can add chicken stock will be amazing will be a nice flavor but when you cook chicken or any meat with the bone that's the best part uh, you will get more flavor and body to the sauce now it start heating up you can see the steam coming up and the sizzling sound so now mix it slowly allow it to cook uh, once the chicken start releasing the water we will add uh, check the seasoning, add a bit more water and then allow it to cook it on slow. Mm -hmm. okay. so slowly. Slowly stir it and if allow the water to absorb and once that is done we will add more water and then leave it to slowly cook and the sauce to be thickened. At this stage you can check the seasoning. Mm, it's nice. It has a very good balance. You don't need any more fat. You added enough of uh, ghee. And if you don't want ghee, you can uh, use plain oil. But for the flavor, it's amazing. Once in a while you can compromise for the taste and a good food. Clarified butter, that's ghee, it, it's, it's, you know, I can't say uh, it's fully healthy, but comparatively, it is better than uh, using a butter. All right, the water we pour on the insert stage is, it's almost reduced. The chicken is halfway through, it's cooked. And you need to do the 50% on slow. At this stage, I'm adding some chickpeas. The chickpeas is canned one, so it's it's well cooked. So we don't have to cook it further. And if you want to use normal dry chickpea, make sure you cook it before you adding it here. So now I'll be adding a bit more water. Because it's a baby chicken we use, it will cook very fast. 15 minutes is good enough for this pile of baby chicken. 15 to 20 minutes we can say. And then don't mix it too much. Allow it to cook on a slow flame. Leave it. And once it's fully done, you just smooth the pan. So it doesn't break the chicken. Okay, now I'll give it a boil and then bring it down to slow. And then leave it there for 15 more minutes. 
Yeah, now I'll reduce it. Leave it to cook it on slow flame. So you enjoyed this video. So make sure you share it to your friends. Uh, cook it at home. Give your feedback and click the bell icon for the next videos uploading. And do subscribe. Thank you.